Welcome to a show me on the facial nerve, the seventh cranial nerve. The facial nerve contains a mixture of parasympathetic, motor and special sensory fibres. The parasympathetic fibres are going to trace their way as the facial nerve comes through the internal auditory meatus. They branch off and become the superior petrosal nerve. They synapse at the pterygopalatine ganglion and then continue and hitchhike up through branches of V2 and V1 to eventually make it up towards the lacrimal gland. Other parasympathetic fibres join with part of the corda tympani nerve and make it down to the submandibular gland. The other type of fibres we have travelling with the facial nerve are the corda tympani nerve and this is supplying taste fibres to the anterior two thirds of the tongue and these emerge and they travel down this way and we'll then, and you can see my very rough outline, cross over to join the lingual nerve to then supply the tongue. Now the facial nerve proper exits out of the stylomastoid foramen and gives rise to six branches. The first branch, the posterior auricular, next branch coming up here is going to be the temporal branch. We then have the zygomatic branch, the buccal branch, buccal meaning cheek, then the marginal mandibula, and the cervical branch coming down here. Now what's really special about all of these fibres is that they're going through the parotid gland which is located just anterior to the ear. So a key thing to remember is the facial nerve contains part of the blue parasympathetic fibres. We also have the special sensation to, um, to be receiving taste fibres in green and we have our motor fibres in red then these branches, the posterior auricular, temporal, zygomatic, buccal and marginal mandibular and cervical are going to supply the muscles of facial expression. And then that is everything facial nerve is done.